So, here's this guy, he's had a really shit day. Worst day of his life. Decides that night, I said, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna hit all the bars, I'm gonna start putting away drinks like there is no tomorrow. So he does that, he goes out in the evening, goes to all these different bars, drink after drink after drink, keeps pouring them down his neck, to eventually he makes it home in wee small hours of the morning. And then the next day he meets up with a friend of his and they start chatting to each other, just shooting the breeze. And his friend says to him, oh, how was last night? And the guy says, oh, it was terrible, absolute disaster. Went to all of these different bars, started painting the town red, drink after drink I had, just throwing them down my neck. Eventually I make it home. Sometime this morning I end up blowing chunks. And his friend's a little less than surprised and says, well, what do you expect? You start throwing that much booze down your neck, of course you're going to throw up. And the guy says, no, you don't understand. Chunks is my dog. Now, as hangover stories go, that's pretty bad and I'm not 100% sure if what you're about to see over the course of the next 60 minutes is as bad as that, but Jesus. I'll let you be the judge. What? Oh, man. Uh, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Is this the guy? The... Yeah, yeah, oh Jesus man, I need your help, seriously. I... I'm into something fucking serious man, I need your help. You're the guy that... Yeah, 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 okay. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, dude, I'm into something way fucking deep here, I really need your help. Yeah, that, that's no, I can, I can pick you up, I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. Alright, just stay there, I can be with you in like two minutes. Okay? Right, okay. I'm on my way. Stay where you are, I'll be right there.
normally works is you tell me what you want and I saw it yet you've said nothing to me so far gone a bit overboard on the plastic haven't you what's the deal Some answers would be good at this point. Like, what the fuck happened to her arm? Some kind of a kinky sex game gone wrong, was it? She's dead. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Dead. Yeah, we've established that. Who is she? I don't know. I don't even know her name. I know. It's messed up, but I didn't know what to do. I, I panicked, and I just knew I had to get rid of the body. And so I decided to chop her up. Chop her up? With that? You couldn't cut my missus's rock cakes up with that, you twat. So how did you kill her? I didn't kill her. I went out for a few beers last night and then a few turned into many and the next thing I knew, I was back here with her. So like a one night stand, yeah? I guess so. So if you didn't kill her, how did she die? I don't know. I just woke up and she was dead. Died in their sleep, mate. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I woke up and she was dead. What time? I, I don't know, it's sometime this morning. What does it matter what time? She's fucking dead and we have to get rid of her. There is no we in this situation. At this moment in time, it's you and a dead chick. When we've agreed a price, then we might have an agreement. Okay, so how much for your services? It depends what level of service you require. I mean, you've done some of the work for me already. I suppose that's going to save me some time. But before we go any further, there are some rules that we need to cover. They are? Firstly, you will not question my leadership or decisions. You'll follow what I say at all times. Secondly, I will not dismember the corpse. That's your job. I will dispose of it though. And thirdly, the most important rule of all, I'm not gonna start any of these proceedings until I've had a cup of tea. This rule, is non-negotiable. Tea is the fuel of the English worker. Okay, um, 
all seems reasonable. What about the price? 300. Okay, that's quite cheap. Charge you more if you like. No, 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 it's fine. Sorted. We're in business. Didn't do anything stupid like phone the police or anything, did you? No, no, I couldn't call the police. This is my parents' house. My old man, he's a respected businessman. If news got out that his son was found with a corpse, it would ruin him. Where are your parents? They're going to be back soon. What time? Seven. Seven? Fuck! That's going to cost you extra, mate. Call it another ton for added stress. Fine, but now you can see the urgency of the situation. Oh, no shit. My old man, he's a stickler. He's going to be back here at seven, on the dot. Go get this sorted. ASAP. I need to think. I've never had to do a job in such a short time before. I'm about a cup of tea. It's okay. Right. I'm gonna work this shit out. You, go put the kettle on and we'll have a brew. Then we'll think of a way out of this. Milk, three sugars. Go. And no fucking decaf. What are we going to do now? Need tools. Proper tools. Oh, that's doing a good job. <laughs> what you've done so far is positively turd worthy. I've covered the place in plastic. Yeah, I fucked up. Big time. So how are we going to do this? Referring back to rule number two, you are going to dismember the corpse. I am going to tell you how to do it. Can't do it. I had a go with the arm and I fucked that up. I can try. There is no try. You can do it. And you will do it. Okay. 
easy. We just need the right tools. to a manageable size to be. What size is manageable? No bigger than her head. Right. You need supplies. You right, buddy? Yeah, you, no, no, it's all sorted now. I had a problem earlier on, but it's sorted. No, no, seriously, it's, it's cool. Everything's sorted out now, so don't you don't need to come around. I'm sorry about that, but seriously, there's no need for you to be here anymore. It's fine, it's, everything's sorted, so... Well, just turn around and go back. Seriously, if you can, you don't want to see what's here, okay? Just head back home and forget I even called you, okay? Okay, bye. Who the fuck was that? It's a friend of mine, Barry. Uh, what's the fucking deal? Earlier on, I phoned him before I could get hold of you. I needed some help, so I gave him a call instead. You really are a fucking twat, aren't you? That's the problem. Well, so far, it's just been me and you. Now you've introduced this fucking Barry to the mix. And by the sound of your voice on the phone, you know some shit's going on. Barry's kind of messed up, he's a little bit sick. I thought he might be able to help. So he's messed up and a little bit sick. And that makes him, what, qualified to cut up a fucking body, does it? Uh, maybe. It doesn't matter anyway, okay? You heard me, I told him to go back home so he's not gonna turn up. It's, everything's fine, it's cool. Hmm. Another thing I can add to my list of fuck ups today.
Just I'm don't... dying for a shit. I don't care. This isn't your house. Go to your house and have a shit. It's too far away. I am not going to make it. No, it's literally no. touching cloth. Out of my Bowery. fucking way, mate. I'm You're sorry. Oh. What the Bowery. fuck? Fucking hell. What the fuck's going on here? What the fuck? Is this some kind of kinky fucking gang, man? Warning, boys. I don't swallow. What the fuck? This is amazing! Seriously, yo, Ben, what's the fucking story? There is no story, Barry. So why don't you make and fuck off? Who's this ballsy prick? Barry, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean? Is this reservoir fucking dog? <laughs> you fucking prick. I told you, shut the fuck up. There are things going on here that you don't understand. I'm having a real shit day and you are adding to my endless list of shit. What the fuck's going on? Who's your friend? Dead what? Dead sexy? Dead, Barry. How? What the fuck? I don't know, okay? I can't explain it. I just woke up this morning. She was dead. Where the fuck is she? I don't know her name. She got a sister? Oh, for fuck's sake, Barry. Listen, this is fucking awesome. This is like literally the best thing in the world. Right? Anyone else know about this? Oh, just shut the fuck up. Anyone else know about this? It's just us three, isn't it? We've got a sexy dead corpse. A fuck buddy, all right? No one's gonna, what the fucking hell? Seriously, can you two not see how fucking awesome this is? Sorry, shut the fuck up! This is fucking serious. Last thing we need is you coming here and fucking the whole thing up. Well, I'm being serious. Stay there. You're a fucking liability. Mr. Clean, I he's got a plan, on. okay? Got oh, a plan? Let's hear it. You don't need to know anything about the plan, Barry, okay? Oh, I know your fucking plan. We need to get rid of the body, and to do that, we need tools. So we're going to go and get some tools. What kind of tools? Saws, proper saws, industrial stuff. We need buckets, we need things to put the portions of the body in. I can get that for you guys. You can't fucking no, I get can. that, Barry. No, I can. I can get the buckets, I can get the buckets, and I can get the saws. I can get the saws. Come on guys, I want to help you with this. Seriously. I can't trust you. Oh no, seriously mate. What can I do? I can't do anything. I know about it now, so I'm involved, surely. Alright? So I'm as much part of this as you two. Okay? Let me fucking help. Alright? Seriously. Seriously. Let me help. Sorry about earlier. I was a little bit excited. We all would be. You know? I want to help you. And your friend, Mr. White, Mr. Pink, whatever his fucking name, yeah, him, I am White, and I'm gonna help her, poor little sausage, alright? Let me help. What's the plan? 
You just need to be cool for a start. As a cucumber. Alright? Look at me. I'm sad. I can do a shit like this. I can do a shit like this. Look at that. Nerves of steel. Alright? I'm cool. I'm cool. It's your fucking game, mate. What's the worst that I can do? You can get the tools, right? I swear. Where are they? They're at my house. So I need to go. And go and get them while you get yours. I could meet you back here. Plan? Yeah? He's come on! on. You're involved, come on, house. come on! What's the worst that could happen? Hello, darling. Don't worry about it. Lovers are gone. It's just us. How did you end up in this situation, you poor little sweetheart? Hey? Some people have no luck. Don't worry about it, though. You've lucked out with me. I'll take care of you, because I'm a nice guy. There's a lot of fucking pricks out there. A lot of people who just take advantage. Fucking wankers. I've seen them. I fucking live down there. They're all fucking pricks. So many of them, but I'm not like that. Not at all. I'm a lovely guy. How the fuck, though, how the fuck did you end up with a prick like him? Look at you, you're a pretty girl. You just go off with any strangers, you fucking naughty girl. You shouldn't do that, because you'll end up getting in fucking trouble. But one day you'll fucking get really hurt. A bit late for that, I suppose, isn't it? You should have listened to me. Not that you knew me. You should have taken my advice. But you didn't know me, did you? Unlucky for you. Now you do know me, and I'm a very nice guy. I like walks in the park. I like puppy dogs. And I also like doing some very, very naughty things, which I don't tell my mummy and daddy about. But mummy and daddy are never going to know. And I was your fucking mummy and daddy, because you ain't ever going home again, are you, sweetheart? Because you're fucking dead. Not my fault. But while I'm here, I might as well take some fucking advantage. You look ever so hungry. Are you hungry? See what I've got. Ooh. Yay! Excited, aren't we? What have I got for you? <gasps> chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Do you like do you like chocolate? 
I love chocolate. This is my favorite. to eat. Oh, was that nice? Do you like dark chocolate or light chocolate? I don't care. I like all fucking chocolate as long as there's some fucking sugar. My oh, arm's getting tired. Can't you help? Whoa. You're not going to help? Fucking tired. <sighs> Deary me, never gone on this long before, have I? Ooh. Shall we see what you taste like? Mm. You taste disgusting, you fucking bitch! Sorry about that. Didn't mean it to get weird. Don't think I'm weird, do you? You look bored. I'm bored. Maybe you should have been back ages ago. Do you like metal? Treat. This is my way of saying sorry. We're all quits, like. You wouldn't have heard this. It's a cracking love. Come on, get up. Good idea. Save your energy for later. For the ending.
Uh, excuse me. This is your fuck up. This is your mess. You do the cutting. So I'm going to cut us off, mate. Good man. Time's ticking away. Come on, I've got things to do. I can't, I can't You've done do the worst this. part. You killed us. Not that fucking easy, is it? You need to get any sleep. <sighs> Just can't do it. I can't do it. She's already dead. Just get on with it. Come on. Look, the more you think about it, the harder it's going to be. Just fucking do it. Cut her up. Shut the fuck up. I can't do it. Fuck's sake. I don't think you've got a choice, mate. You'll have to do it. Don't do cutting. It's not in my remit. Oh, come on, man. I need Just help. you. Just fucking do it. get on you with can it. Fucking do this. Come on. No underscore. I'll do it. Hundred quid. You get paid. I get paid. You get the body chopped up. What's the worst that can happen now? Sorted. Everyone's happy. Suits me. Good. We're in agreement. Do. Listen to your advisor. Does it make sense? Yes! 100 pounds. 100 quid, that's all. Are you Nothing. happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Any idiot can cut up a body, but I'm still not fucking doing it. Absolutely. What can I do wrong? Can't kill her again. Just, yeah, just get on. What? Where do I start? Limbs off, hands and feet off. Then cut basically at each joint. Yeah. Head off. Yeah. Internal organs out. Yeah. Torso cut up into four rough sized pieces. Mm -hmm. And the teeth need taken out with pliers. And the face smashed in with a claw hammer. Sounds easy enough. Lovely juggling. You're fucking kidding me. I can't believe it. Go on. If you're not hanging around, chop, chop. Go on. I'm not watching that. You staying? No, I'll stick the kettle. Do you want a bro? Yeah. You gonna have your tea? Hello there, darling. It's just me and you again. You do get yourself into some awkward situations, don't you? Hey? Did you end up here? I'd love to know. You're never going to tell me, are you? Because you're dead. I won't be needing this for a while. Hey. I'd like to keep my hands free. It's so cold. Let's see if I can warm you up. feel anything, can you? Because you're dead. That must be hard for you to deal with. 
You're never going to get warm ever again. You're going to stay one cold, dead bitch. A very, very beautiful. Did you go and die? It was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? Hey? Pretty little thing like you. I bet you were pretty when you were alive. You're still pretty now you're dead. Hey? Trouble is. things we could have done if you were still alive. But I can still do it. I'm the only one that's going to enjoy this. So beautiful. So dead. And you fucking stink. What were you up to before you died to make you smell like this? Can't quite put my finger on it. You smell like shit. My God. Actually smell like dead shit. You smell like death. You smell like you've been rotting for years. What's that? You'd like a wash? Oh, yes, please. Hey, I'll give you a wash from your pretty little head down to your pretty little toes. I'm good at that. That's one thing I'm good at. You can trust Barry. See what you taste like. Seconds. Start talking. Dude, I'm gonna gut you. Calm, calm down. Just calm down. Fuck okay. you. Calm look, down. Look. look, look okay. What the fuck? I've He's looked, got a mate. scalpel. He's got a scalpel. You can see the blood pouring out of his neck. And the guy's fucked up. He's fucked in the head. Okay. You're we left. We left. Dead. We left him alone in the room with a corpse. Okay. We couldn't trust him before. And now he's in a pool of his own blood. I can see that. And there's a scalpel right next to him. Think right. about it. He's obviously killed himself. What the fuck? Why would he kill himself? I told you, the guy's fucked in the head. But something must have happened in here while we were out there. And that's it. He couldn't take it anymore. And he's decided to end it there. Come on, you saw him earlier on. You saw how fucked he was. When we walked in earlier on, you saw all that shit he was doing. Does this not make sense? It's not logical, right? Fucking stay there. Take a look. Have a look at his neck. I'm fucking looking. Shut the fuck up.
does not make no fucking sense, mate. It makes perfect sense. No, it fucking doesn't make any sense. None sense. of today makes any fucking sense. You don't know Barry. You don't know Barry like I know Do you Barry. You know what? I don't give a shit about Barry. I don't give a shit about you. I don't give a shit about her. Who I do give a shit about is me. Right now, I don't really understand what's going on. But right now, you're in a whole world of shit. Because there's one door out of here, and I'm in the way of it. I won't like this fucking situation at all. I came in to cut up and fucking get rid of one fucking body. Now there's two. You need to get rid of two bodies. You need to get rid of two bodies, I'm fucking done. What do you mean you're done? I'm done. Fuck you, mate. This is way beyond me. Oh, you've got a job to do. I, I hired you to get rid of the body. You're paying me fucking chicken feed, mate. What if I up the price? <laughs> You have to up it a fucking lot. Double what we said earlier on. Well, I fucking treble. This is the shittiest day ever. Okay, okay, we we can treble it. That's fine. Money's not a problem. We ain't got time to cut up two fucking bodies. Okay, then what do we do? What do you do? You think, mate? This is your fuck up. opportunity here. What's that? Start with we had one dead body. Now we've got two. We know what Barry's like. An alibi from us, we can cover this whole thing up. There's no alibi from us, mate. I wasn't even here. Whatever you need to do. I'm in no position whatsoever to get you involved in this anymore. I take it you've taken steps to make sure nobody knows that you're here. Just pay me my money. I'm done. Okay. Stay here, I'll go and get the money.
So, do you still want this? You think? There are implications to being a member of the Living Dead. I'm sure you are. Right? You're going to have to be a little bit more certain than that. Vampire doesn't make everything right. You don't wander around and sparkle. There was this guy who had a really, really shit day. Like the worst day of his life. And he decides, right, I said, I'm gonna go out tonight, I'm gonna hit all the bars, I'm just gonna start down in drinks like there's no tomorrow. So sure enough, that night he goes out. Starts painting the town red, starts chucking drink after drink down his neck. But before you smart asses start thinking, I've already heard this joke, you told it before and I know the punchline. It's not how this story plays out. There's a warning here for you fellas. One night you could be out drinking and some really hot piece of ass comes up to you starts chatting you up, asks you to take her back to your place, there's always the possibility that she could be a blood-sucking member of the undead. And okay, yes, I'm now responsible for the deaths of two almost innocent men, but when the prize on offer is a chance of immortality, and that same hot piece of ass. Can you really blame me? My girlfriend's in a coma. It's ruined my persona. It's over. Girlfriend's in a coma. Girlfriend's in a coma da, 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 da. Smile upon her face is a right 
Christ.